there's been some discussion recently about these types of four by six memos that can be folded into envelopes, which are handy for sending sticker flakes in the mail to people or um, some of them I bet you could even fit some mini memos in, but that wouldn't be something I'd try necessarily. But here's one, Cafe Mode Party, awfully cute. It's a, it's a pretty normal one. Uh, this one here is, is super tiny if you compare it to what the finished size of the Cafe Mode one will be. Um, this one's going to end up being tinier, but this one says um, Puwaran Magic. Very cute. Uh, we got another one here little fold-up guy. This is Oyasumi Bakura, and uh, this one has the directions on it, which is, which is kind of handy, although the other ones aren't hard to understand. These cinema roll ones are already kind of die-cut, which is handy and easier than having to cut out your own stuff, I suppose. Um, this one is from one of my own letter pads, or not letter pads, memo pads, um, and what you do is you cut out the yellow part and then you put the glue on these two flaps and fold it right here and then you can fold the little flap there and, and make an envelope. But I was thinking to myself, you know, we oftentimes in memo pads get these papers that are all patterned and I thought, well, couldn't you make an envelope out of these if you were crafty in the right kind of way? So I thought I'd give it a shot. Um, I considered this memo, but it only has the design really on the edges. And as I thought about it, you're going to get the edges kind of cut off. So you don't quite want a memo that's like this. Um, uh, Sanex doesn't make a lot of memos that are solid color. You saw the, the black one over here was um, Kutasi de Nyanko. Um, but this, the uh, house cleaning... Um, raccoon. I don't know how to say it in Japanese. I'm not even going to try, but I've seen several of her four by six notepads come with, um, with a lot of those totally patterned, uh, pages. So you could try that. So here's one that I'll just fold to show you what I'm kind of thinking. Um, if you take it and fold it like so, you know, get a nice cream, crisp, clean fold there. And then this is going to eventually be the, the over flap. Okay, you've got your first three folds there. And then to apply glue eventually, you want to kind of neatly fold this down and then flip it this way. It doesn't have to be super thick, but thick enough to hold glue. And I like to kind of line up the folds here to help me see that I'm getting it totally straight. But again, it doesn't have to be, you know, it doesn't have to be perfect. So you can see we've got these boxy kind of folds going here that'll that'll help you in just a minute and then what you need to actually finish this project are scissors and i use these cutter bee scissors that are tiny with with a good sharp point and i'm just going to cut out um this tiny square here this tiny square here and then um i'm going to cut out these longer rectangles down here on the bottom so that I can apply glue in other spots. Um, I don't think you have to be perfect about this, but if you are going to make an error, I would make it just a little bit bigger because if, if you can see here, if I don't get all the way to the fold there, when I fold this over to, to do the over flap later, it's not going to meet up very well. So I'm going to cut it just a little bit closer. Um, might even cut it at a little bit of an angle. I'm just going to pull that little piece out there. Um, you could probably use decorative scissors to give that top flap a nice um, rather decorative look to it. And if I can grab a pair of those scissors while I'm doing this, maybe I'll, I'll show you that. But this lap down here, you know, you, you may want to actually err a little bit on the wide side here because you want there to be some room on the inside of the envelope to hold your sticker flakes, whatever else it is that you would like to put inside. This flap I'll cut back a little bit like I was talking about, just to make it glue together a little bit better. I'm going kind of fast here because I don't want to bore you, but it's not the most perfect cuts I've ever made. Look at that one. That's pretty awful, actually. Anyway, so you would fold this like so, and then fold this up. Yeah, I'm going to have to trim that little edge right there. It's not meeting cleanly. So just go back and trim it back a little bit and I just pull the little end off. Okay. And 
you apply the glue here and then what I was talking about before about the kind of the over flap here you might just angle it back a little bit to make it look like you know a fancier envelope and I always get these angles wrong I have to think about them a little bit <laughs> to make them happen properly and just a little bit less than a 45 degree angle to get back up in there and then if you wanted to do a little decorative edge I have some little stamp Fisker's edge scissors here that might be kind of fun and I like these little envelopes like this because it's it's gonna be super easy to get this edge right sometimes you have problems getting the edge to meet up and that's that's always super lame but there's a little decorative edge and so you can put a little sticker flake right there to kind of seal it but yeah put your glue here and be careful when you do the gluing part because if you put too much glue um, I'm digging for my glue stick, which of course is going to be not where I can find it. Um, you you don't want to get too much glue um, over in this part because you could end up um, gluing your envelope totally shut. So here's the um, wrinkle-free scotch glue stick that I am quite fond of right now. You might take these little spare pieces and kind of stick them under here so you're not getting glue on the inside of the envelope. Um, and it doesn't have to be, you know, superb. But a little bit like that, a little bit like that. This glue stick dries kind of fast, so you want to move with some haste. But the good news is then you don't have to wait very long for it to dry. Yeah, I didn't meet that up very well. Flatten it out a little bit. And yeah, it's kind of a chubby envelope when you're done to stick, stick a little stuff in. So I hope you enjoyed that little tutorial.